this session we'll learn how to insert a blank page and a page break in a document in Microsoft Word. So suppose we have this long document here and um, we have a cover page in the very beginning but then we also want to have a blank page starting somewhere in here. So what we do is we can go under the insert tab and simply click on insert blank page and now we have a blank page on page two now or page one in that case. If we wanted a page break and a page break let's suppose that we want to end right here and no matter how we do formatting in the future we want this computer security here to always be on a new page. So in order to do that what we do is that uh, we put in here somewhere we put in under insert we can put a page break and that basically is saying end the page here and move whatever is after this page break to a new page in my document. So we click on page break and now notice there is this. So now even if this were to overflow at some point in the future let's say I formatted it differently notice it's going to leave the next section of the document here blank even though there was space. So basically wherever the page break is it's going to always be at the beginning of another page. Now the question is let's say I changed my mind and I want to delete that page break. What's the easiest way for me to go ahead and delete it and remove the page break? That's a little bit tricky but of course it can be done. So if you go here under the home tab and you go here to show and uh, hide the paragraph marks or hidden characters. Notice right here it says page break. So all you need to do is again we have showed here the hidden characters. All we have to do is we press backspace to delete the page break or select it, press delete and now it will bring the whole text up again. So that's how you add a page break to a document and that's how you remove it as well.